Hello everyone, Sharpita43 once again, bringing you all another Wi-Fi battle. This one is actually going to be in the Ubers, uh, I guess, tier, kind of, for the first time ever. Um, and my opponent for it is actually going to be Abnix. As you can see, the teams that we have, they're kind of similar, which is actually kind of interesting considering this team that I got is a pretty old one, actually. Like, I got this team somewhere around early last year, like somewhere around March or April or something like that. So for me to see this guy having a similar team is kind of it kind of says a lot about the Uber's so and so tier. I say that because supposedly from what I understand, Uber is not supposed to be a tier per se. It's supposed to be more so a ban list. But given that a lot of battles happen in this so-called tier, um, kind of makes it so that it's treated as such, you know, as a as a tier ubers that is so yeah but anyways with all that said let's just get into the battle this is actually my first battle in the in the ubers quote-unquote tier because you know i'm not really a fan of using legendaries in wi-fi battles honestly but i wanted to try it out nonetheless so i figured why not so anyway here we go so i lead off with groudon and he leads off with arceus which conveniently enough for him it seems to be ground which is bad for me but nonetheless, I decided to stay in and just go for a Precipice Blades, I think is what it's called. Precipice Blades or something like that. Yeah, and he's going to go for Judgment, which does over half, but it's not enough to KO me, thankfully. I think I stayed in because I was kind of hoping he'd overpredict here. Staying in was obviously not ideal, but again, I, I didn't know what this thing could go for. Like, I was afraid of going into, um, what's it called, the hole, just because... It can go for Stone Edge. Like, you know, Arceus can get all kinds of moves. So, obviously, I didn't want to just simply switch out and, you know, try to predict very early in the game. But um, now I do try to switch out. And hopefully, he doesn't switch up his move to something that can answer Ho. -Oh. Thankfully, he does switch it up to something that Ho can take. In this case, Ice Beam. So, this gives me the chance to just go for a Sacred Fire. From what I understand, this is actually an offensive ho with Life Orb. So going for Sacred Fire here, I'm, I was hoping to get good damage, and thankfully I do. In fact, that's actually a two-hit KO. And this puts me in a position where he would have to switch out, um, predicting me to go for another Sacred Fire, which is what he does. And he goes into Palkia as a result. And what I do here, for, thankfully for me, is actually I go for Brave Bird, uh, predicting the potential Palkia because of the fact that... Um, I didn't think he'd want to lose his Arceus this early in the game. Although, so far, looking at how quick these mods are going down, <laughs> tells me that the Ubers is probably um, a pretty fast-paced kind of battle. Maybe this is why people do it or, or something. I don't know. But anyways, Palkia goes down in one hit, which was actually really, really surprising and impressive in my opinion. But And now he's going to go into Blaziken, which kind of screamed Thunder Punch, which is why I switch out into ground on here, just in case he tries to go for that right now. And if he goes for something like high jump kick predicting me though, uh, this ground would have been death fodder anyway. So this is kind of why I switched it in right here. So yeah, and I think right here, yeah. So this is Mega Blaziken and I think he actually ends up going for the Stone Edge right here, which is like a good thing I switched out. I think it would have been ideal if I switched in the, um, the, the, um, the Dusk Main Necrozma, but at the same time, it was not a good idea because it's a steel type. And, you know, Flare Blitz would probably still do a lot of damage. And I don't have anything to hit Blaziken hard with either, honestly. But now I go into Arceus Fairy because this is actually the only thing I can actually send in given that this thing has Stone Edge. If it didn't have Stone Edge or... Yeah, if it didn't have Stone Edge, I could have probably brought in Ho, take a Thunder Punch, then go for Brave Bird. But unfortunately, this thing has Stone Edge, which is... Yeah, it's putting me in a really, really tight situation. And after Speed Boost, not even Mega Gengar can come in here. So, yeah, I send in Arceus and I just go for Judgment. I was actually hoping the one-hit KO but unfortunately it doesn't, so that just goes to show you how broken fucking Mega Blaziken can be. If it survives judgments from Arceus, given that it's not even an uber or a legendary Pokemon. Not uber. It is uber, but not legendary is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, but here he goes for a Flare Blitz, I believe, and actually surprisingly enough survive. And I do go for another judgment right there because I didn't want to risk him going for another Swords Dance and then guaranteeing the KO on my Arceus. So I wanted to make sure he'd actually um, go down, but unfortunately he just went for the flare blitz and put me in this situation. So no recover. Recover would have probably been the ideal play, but again, with that setup and stuff, um, I just didn't want to deal with it. Obviously, I didn't want to risk him going for a second source dance, you know. So yeah, 
but now I'm gonna go for Toxic here because he sends in Groudon and I just go for Toxic and I was afraid of this being a potential double dancing set so that's kind of why I went for the Toxic so that he doesn't just stay around and just sweep the entirety of my team. Now here I'm gonna go, um, I just stay in because obviously there's nothing else I can switch into on a Groudon obviously. He just goes for Stone Edge once again predicting that damn ho to come in which is scary actually. But now here I go into Xerneas and I kind of don't remember why because I already knew that his um, his Duskman Necrozma was here. But for some reason I decided to just simply go for I think uh, uh, the Geomancy right here. Now this Xerneas does have the uh, Power Herb which allows me to just simply skip that second turn that Geomancy takes to you know get the, the stat boost. But unfortunately, I don't know why I did it this early, given that he still had Dust Necrozma here. Dust Man Necrozma. So, I do get my stats boosted, but the only thing I can hit this thing with really is the Hidden Power Ground, I think this is. And uh, it doesn't really do a lot. Well, it does do a lot. It does over half, but it was only because of a crit. And at plus two, like, dude, imagine if it didn't get crit. It probably would have been 25% or something like that. Or maybe something more than that. But still, it would not have been a two hit KO. He's gonna go for the um, the Sunsteel Strike is what it's called and surprisingly enough not KO my Xerneas which kind of tells me that this Necrozma is probably a defensive variant as well honestly. So here I decided to switch it up to Thunder because seeing how much the um, Hidden Power did with a crit I didn't think it would do more and I was hoping that Thunder would kind of take it out obviously. but Or even get the Paralysis if um, I'd be lucky but no unfortunately I don't and as a result, this Necrozma just takes out my Xerneas, which sucks. I think this Xerneas could have been used for late game, but for some reason, I just didn't think it would work out. I don't know why. The, uh, sending in Xerneas was probably a mistake right there, I think. But at the same... Yeah, like maybe sending in Ho was a good idea. I know that his Groudon had a um, freaking... The... What's it called? The... Or maybe just go for Hidden Power or Ground with... Um, with... Um, with you know Xerneas and then just send in Ho afterwards when he sends in the Necrozma that would have probably been good for me and if he doubled in the ground and I could have just gone back into um, Xerneas take some damage and then go for the hidden power you know just keep doing it until I put myself in a good position but you know I didn't do that so as a result here I I brought in Ho and now I have to send in the Necrozma again because he brought Groudon and he still has gone for the stone right here now here i th i don't remember what i go for here okay he's gonna switch out i don't remember why he switched out maybe he thought i'd have a different set or something but he's gonna bring in the arceus now i i go for stealth rocks right here because i wanted to wither down that that grot on as much as possible because if he's toxic and with rocks and if he sticks around just to set up a move or something he can go down really really quickly just from the poison alone but he does switch in this Arceus, which gives him the chance to recover, which is annoying. So I decided to hard switch into Gengar right here. Probably should have went into the the Hull -Oh right here. So maybe this was another mistake, honestly. But the reason why I was kind of thinking at the time that Gengar would have been disposable here was because he still had the Xerneas and, I mean, not Xerneas, the Velta on his team. And I figured this thing wasn't going to be useful anyway, since the only other attacking move this Gengar has is Focus Blast, which wouldn't do much, honestly. And on top of that, it has Sucker Punch. I don't know. Or they can get Sucker Punch. I don't know if it actually has it or not. But yeah. Not to mention, given the maximum amount of special attack that Gengar has, I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to take out the Arceus, given that it was burned with Hex, honestly. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. And then this thing just hits me really hard with a Judgment, which is the ground type. And just takes out my Mega Gengar, which sucks. So now here I just send out my ho -Oh. Just going for the, um, I think just the, the Sacred Fire. Yeah, just to not take any more recoil damage. Plus Life Orb, so. Um, I do take out the Arceus, which is really, really good. But now, unfortunately, this gives them a chance to just go back into Groudon. Which is annoying, actually, because this thing, I don't know. Like, had I not maybe um, messed around with that Xerneas at the time, I would have probably have gotten some... I would have probably had it, this Groudon a little bit more withered down, I feel. Because I would have still had the... Um, the... What's it called? The Gengar relatively healthy. I just need to make sure he doesn't set up that freaking Rock Polish. But, yeah. 
So here he goes for stonage because I switched out Ho. I did not want to take a stonage and I didn't want to stay in um, risking that possibility. So I just went into Necrozma right here and he's actually going to go for stonage and I went for the... Uh, I think I went for the Sunsteel Strike because that was the only move I could go for in this thing. I didn't have like anything fancy like Earth Power or anything like that. And he's just going to go for the Rock Polish. Now seeing how he set that up straight in my face tells me that he kind of already knows what the set for this Necrozma is honestly. In fact, seeing a lot of how he played in this battle kind of tells me that he already knew kind of what I wanted to do with this team, honestly. Even though I personally did not know what I wanted to do with this team, because I've never done Ubers. This team was, I didn't even make it. I just um, used it. But even then, I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. But nonetheless, I did pretty good uh, given how close this battle is so far. However, unfortunately for me right here, I actually make a misplay and actually switch into Ho. The problem was that I was actually kind of afraid of him just going for the the Precipice Blades and just simply taking out my Necrozma. And what I wanted to do was actually stall so that he get like he go down the poison. But unfortunately, I just got like I overpredicted basically. And as a result, this um, this ground just basically finishes me off before he goes down the Toxic. So as a result, I lost. Did I choke that battle? Eh, I don't I don't think so. Or maybe I don't know. Because the the switch was not unreasonable. I wanted a stall to make sure that thing goes down to poison so that I could still have the Necrozma around for when the Evelta comes in. But at the same time, it would have probably been inconsequential for Evelta on his way because Evelta just simply dark pulses Necrozma. So maybe I should have just stayed in, honestly. And then send in Ho-Oh if it survives the poison, the Groudon, and then I could just maybe hope it misses Stone Edge. And if it misses, then maybe I could deal with the Evelta, assuming it's not a physical variant. So... If that was the case, I probably could have won this battle, which, not gonna lie, I mean, even though I lost the battle, I think it was kind of impressive, actually, given that I've never done Ubers before, so, yeah, but, um, anyways, that's gonna be the whole battle. Uh, GG2, Abnix, that was actually a pretty cool, uh, cr cool battle. Jeez, I can't talk. Sorry, it's because it's kind of late at night here right now, and I'm actually kind of tired, but, um, yeah, this was a cool battle, I think it was, um, and the guy was pretty chill as well, honestly. Like, he kind of told me why I made a mistake in switching out um ho into the Groudon because of the potential stone edge and whatnot and uh yeah like there was no problems you know like i typically would have but yeah so with all that said i'll catch you guys for the next battle for now just take it easy and have a good one